morning and welcome back to Kalinovka. Today we're in July. Um, the reason we're in July, I did do some more recording in June. Um, I did it twice in fact and both times I didn't press record. So um, I gave up in the end. I was I was recording what I was doing for the rest of the month of June um, and it would have been about half of the uh, half of the episode but um, yeah for some reason twice I recorded it and didn't didn't actually press record so yeah but I'm going to show you quickly where we're at so we'll start in the yard here so the, the cows have reproduced so we actually have um, four male calves and one female, which um, so that's unfortunate, really, because the male calves aren't really going to do anything for us. But we may sell them. We may wait until they're a bit older and then sell them, or we may use them as meat for the meat processing. I'm not too sure yet, but. But they have reproduced. Um, the feed is fine for now. Uh, we do need some more milk though, because the the milk stocks at the dairy have run out, so all that all those processes have stopped for now. But we'll wait until the milk has um, got to a, a, a bigger level, and then we can uh, we can send it over to the dairy. Uh, the chickens are fine. They've still got plenty of grain for a little while. And the sheep have still got plenty of hay and water. So, uh, yeah, animals are all good. Um, <clears throat> so if we go over here, I've done a little bit of changing around here. So I've, I've planned or I've placed some trees just to separate that field from this sort of area. Um, got a different sort of ground texture here and I've also placed this two million litre multi-fruit silo it's either Omatana or Bernie SES I can't remember which one but the reason I placed that is because the the new field we purchased in the last episode um, I've got over 300,000 litres of straw uh, because what I have been doing I put the loose straw in here and I, I needed somewhere to put the loose straw so that's why I placed this silo but, uh, I've been using some of the straw in the BGA um, so while I was doing other things in the rest of June I was sort of topping up the BGA with, with grass but I also the, the field our existing field, we produce nine straw bales off that, so they've all gone into the BJ and have processed. Um, I've also been topping up the slurry from the cows. There's still 43,000 litres in there, but there was well over 130,000 litres, I think. So in the BJ now, we have... Um, it's still processing a little bit of this. Oh no, it's not. Oh yeah, it's stopped stopped processing anything because we're at full capacity for the electric charge. Um, so the electric charge and methane we're going to set to selling, and then when it ticks over the next hour, they will sell. So I'll be interested to see how much that earns us. Um. Other productions, greenhouse is fine. Um, the rye bread has stopped, but there is rye flour still being produced in the bait in their grain mill. It's just not keeping up with the uh, with the bakery. So once that's distributed a bit more, the rye bread will start again. We will turn on normal bread because we've got the flour. Um, being distributed there actually no actually we're going to leave we're not going to use the flour we're going to wait until we can do one of these puff 
So it's probably going to be the strawberry puff when we've got sugar. Um, so yeah, we'll we'll keep storing that there. Um, and then the other productions, obviously firewood and the sawmill. At some point this month, we will go around and collect all the goods from them. Um, honey, and we have got pasta, ketchup, and the preserved foods. But that's all good. All that'll all be collected later on in the month. Um. So yeah. So I'm going to show you what I've done with the uh, with the new field. So originally I was going to split it into two, but when I ploughed it, I thought actually four fields would probably be better. They're still decent size, but they're more manageable, and. Um, and we can have more more crops grown at once. So, so half of the episode that I recorded that didn't actually record um, was doing all this. So doing all the field work, prep work. So these two fields are just ploughed and limed, um, ready for seeding in August and September. And um, the only thing we could seed in in June was sorghum and grass. So that is another grass field now, our existing field. And these two are both sorghum. So they've obviously been ploughed, uh, limed, drilled, fertilised and rolled. That one was also cultivated because um, we haven't got a direct drill. So yeah, just done a bit of a the roadway between all four um we did get a new lime spreader which is over here so the reason being the one that i already have is only a four thousand liter capacity the 12 meter spread for lime but yeah the capacity is a bit low and obviously with lime you go through it quite a lot so this is the fortrit uh t 088 so it can be a grain trailer a manure spreader fertilizer spreader and it is also a lime spreader it doesn't actually say it's a lime spreader but in the picture on mod hub um it was spreading lime so and it doesn't actually tell you the working width but it is around nine meters because when you put it on course play it recognizes it as about nine meters so it's not very big, but it is a 10,000 litre capacity. So we are going to keep the old fertiliser spreader because that will be full fertiliser. Because the spread width for fertiliser is 20 metre. So that is fine for that. Um, but yeah, so that is, that's everything caught up. So at the moment we have, this grass field is ready to harvest. It's at the second harvest stage. And we're actually going to forage that with the forage wagon. Because the header we've got will do grass. So we can put the chaff in the silage bunker. And then the silage, when it's fermented, will either go into the BGA or be sold or be used for TMR. We have got quite a few bales still, so I'm not too worried about feed. But... um yeah, and then the other one is field 29 behind the shop is also ready to harvest. So we're going to harvest that and get the straw. So I think I'm going to start with that um, harvest in that field. So I'm going to get the harvester over and I'll see you when we're all set up. Right, so over at the wheat field, so let's get harvesting. So this will keep our um, chicken food stock uh, kept up a bit. 
depends how much we'd get. I might, I might send some to the grain mill. Um, but we'll see, see what the yield is like. It's going nice and green on the, on the mini map. So, of course, everything was done to this field. Right. So it should be pretty much a hundred percent yield. That's a nice big straw swath we're leaving behind. So. So yeah, I think I'll get this done and uh, I'll see you when it's all harvested and we're picking up the straw. So that's the last bit of wheat being harvested, last strip. I think that has yield, yielded pretty well. Um, it's not quite a full trailer load, but it is only a small field, so yeah, pretty, pretty happy with that. We'll just put the header back on the trailer. Thank God for the snapping header trailers, is all I can say. Because I can never get a header on straight, no matter how hard I try. <laughs> so. Just jump in and see what we've got.
there we go just over twelve and a half thousand litres so that is pretty good so let's get the tractor on his way back because we're going to need the forage pickup and trailer for the straw so I think I'll use the bigger trailer um, for this one because we're going to have quite a lot of straw Is that not looking properly? There we go. Send him home. Get the harvester all folded away. Just watching the time. We've got two minutes until until it clicks over the hour. So hopefully we should see a big income boost. Or well, I'm not sure how much it'll be to be honest with the electric and methane. So we'll just have to wait and see. Just wait for the Belarus to come back and then we can hook up to the forage pickup. Get this grain in the silo. Actually, we'll top up the chickens while we while we've got it in the trailer. Whether it's this side of the pallet or yeah, there we go. <clears throat> right, so we're just about to tick over to the next hour. So there we go. Wow, look at that. So we were on twenty-one. So that's a hundred and ten thousand from the. From the electrical charge and the methane that is brilliant excellent all right so i'm well pleased with that so let's get um so we're going to fill it up fill it up again keep topping it up during the month i think that's what we'll do we'll just keep keep topping it up as and when we can um but yeah, that's that's really really good. Very pleased with that. So we'll just drop that trailer there. Pick up the other bigger trailer. fact I'm not sure whether they um, I think I might be able to connect them together let's just see if I can take both trailers because that will I mean we're going to get a lot of straw so <coughs> that will help with transporting
maybe not then. I know the other, the smaller of the two trailers has got a rear hitch, so maybe that will. Let's give that a go. If not, we'll admit defeat and we'll just have to make more trips. Sort that harvester out in a minute, because he's obviously stuck on that gate, which I still haven't... Um, Still haven't removed, but yeah, that um, so the two trailers do hook up together, so that will make our life a little bit easier. We'll just park him there for now because we do need to have a little bit of a tidy up in the yard again. probably better off using the IMT because I also need to hook up the forage wagon. And it's already struggling so I'm gonna get all this done and I'll see you back over the field. So I just thought I'd fill up the two trailers um, while I had them hooked up and fill up the BGA with some straw. So once that's finished tipping, that'll be 60,000 litres again in the BGA. And then we can go and let the pickup forage pick up and get to the field and get the, get the straw. So this is going to be a shorter episode, I think, um, well, for definite, because half of what I'd planned is uh is now not happening but because we're only doing one episode of Kalinovka a week I, I wanted to to get something out just um just so you can all see the progress so I'm pretty pleased with this little area it's um, turned out okay I think we'll we'll do the forage in the in the grass field there i think we'll do that in the next episode um we'll just get this straw picked up and i think that'll be it for this episode as i say a bit of a short one but apologies for that Gonna have a bit of a road train going on here. But it would help if I wasn't trying to connect to the back of the trailer, wouldn't it? <laughs> what a tool. Um yeah. <laughs> Ignore that bit. Let's do it there the right way and we might have a bit more success he says <laughs> there we go <coughs> right let's get this little road train up to the field Still can't believe how much we made from the from the electrical charge and the, um, the methane. Uh, brilliant. Let's just get all this set up and make sure we've got um, got everything right. A pipe out. We'll lower the pickup now. And then as soon as we get to the field, we can just turn it straight on. But I am pretty sure we're going to get more than than just these two trailers of straw. 
that'll be 60,000 litres. So, I think we're going to get quite a bit more because those swaths were, were quite big. So. So I think it'll be easier to do one trailer at a time. Um, so we will drop the green trailer there. Let's turn it on. Go this way for now. And there we go, picking up the swath. Come back, come back round and get the get the bits we're missing. Pretty hard to uh, to control this actually <laughs> with the um, with the articulated steering and the the speed. It's um, quite a job. Luckily, there is a quite a wide pickup on this, so. Right, so that is the first trailer. Oh, so this is what I mean by, <laughs> um, I'm saying it. <laughs> I was about to tell you about this forage pickup, um, and I'd told you about it in the bit that it's unrecorded <laughs> so yeah um it's it's got a it's got a capacity and as far as i can see the capacity is quite big so i am gonna hook up to the um to the trailer but I think once that trailer's full I will probably just pick up the rest in the um, with the forage wagon because it will save me doing lots of trips so yeah when I was picking up the straw off the new field I actually got about 195,000 litres in the forage pickup and that was without a trailer being attached so yeah not very realistic at all but yeah it's not the best setup this but I needed the power to bring two trailers up here I mean I could have just brought the, the pickup itself build that up but I don't want to be too unrealistic I know I do say that quite a lot I think because a lot of people are so they feel so strongly about realism and what you do in this game um, I like to try and keep my gameplay like that but it's not you know it's not um, it's a game <laughs> everybody plays it different um, I have nothing there's nothing wrong with playing it ultra realistic and I do feel that I, for the most part, I um, I do things as realistically as possible. But 
I don't think there's any harm in the odd unrealistic thing now and then. So I think at this point it just gets a bit trying to uh, to keep to the rows can be a little bit hard sometimes. Again, that's just because of the because of the setup really. Go back and pick up these little bits that we've missed. And actually we're we're not even half full on this trailer, so might not be too bad. We'll see. There we go. When the, when the swaths are straight, it's quite easy. <laughs> it's when um when you're turning and trying to get trying to get them. So uh, that's where the difficulties start. Again, when I'm doing bits like this, the, the camera movements are a bit all over the place, so apologies for that. I think I'll just get these few bits picked up and bring you back in when, they're, when it's all picked up. Okay, so just getting this little bit and then that is all collected. It wasn't actually as much as I thought it would be, but it's a byproduct, so it's, you know, and it's going to make us a lot of money in the BGA, which is the main thing. So I think I, I need to hook this up the other way, don't I? I'll see you back at the yard. So we're back at the farm with the straw train. Um, so I'm just going to dump both these trailers into the silo. So uh, yeah, um I think that's gonna be that's gonna be where I leave this one. As I say, it's a bit shorter. Um haven't really done a lot in this one, but I just wanted to make sure I got uh, got some sort of episode out, so I hope you have enjoyed it and I hope you're still enjoying the series. And uh thank you very much for watching. And please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you don't already. And I shall see you in the next one. Bye for now.